Have you ever wondered how the machines around us work? How does a bike move forward? Or how does a blender mix up your favorite smoothie? Well, today we're going to unravel these mysteries. Welcome to a fascinating exploration of machines and their mechanisms. Machines, they are everywhere. From the alarm clock that wakes you up in the morning, to the car that takes you places, and the smartphone that keeps you connected with the world, they are indispensable parts of our daily lives. But have you ever paused to think about how they work? What makes them tick? Machines are marvels of human ingenuity. They are complex systems of parts working together to perform specific functions, driven by various mechanisms. Each mechanism, an intricate dance of motion and force. So buckle up, as we take a journey into the world of machines. From the moment we wake up, we are surrounded by machines. They are an integral part of our daily lives. Imagine the sound of your alarm clock ringing. That's a machine right there, serving the noble purpose of ensuring you don't oversleep and miss your day. It's a simple device, but it's the first machine that greets us each morning. Then there's the coffee machine, a true savior for all the coffee lovers out there. It grinds the beans, heats the water, and pours you a steaming cup of coffee, all at the touch of a button. It's practically a barista in a box and a very well-loved machine in many households. Ever brushed your teeth and wondered about the mechanism inside your electric toothbrush? It's a tiny machine, but it's doing a mighty job, moving at high speed to ensure your pearly whites stay clean and healthy. And let's not forget the humble washing machine, tirelessly spinning and cleaning our clothes. It's a marvel of engineering that combines several types of motion, from the rotary motion of the drum to the linear motion of the water inlet and outlet. How about the car that gets you to work or school? It's a complex machine with numerous parts working together. The engine, the transmission, the brakes, each part has its own purpose, working in harmony to get you from point A to point B. Even the lock on your front door is a machine. When you turn the key, the internal mechanism moves, allowing the bolt to slide into place. It's a simple machine, but it offers us security and peace of mind. Remember, machines are not just about gears and levers. They're also about transforming energy, transmitting motion and making our lives easier. And they're everywhere, in our homes, at our workplaces, even in our pockets. They may be complex or simple, large or small, but each one serves a purpose. So, from making your morning coffee to locking the door when you leave home, machines are everywhere. Now, let's delve deeper into these machines and explore their mechanisms. It's like opening up a treasure chest of mechanical wonders, with each component having its own unique role. Imagine building a puzzle. Each piece has its own place and purpose. And it's only when all the pieces come together that we see the full picture. That's exactly how it is with mechanisms. Take for instance the humble bicycle. It's a machine we use almost every day. But have you ever thought about its mechanism? The bicycle has a variety of parts, each with its own function. The pedals, for example, are where the rider's force is applied, which is then transferred to the chain. This chain in turn rotates the rear wheel. Or consider the can opener, another everyday device. Its lever mechanism magnifies the force we apply, making it easier to cut through the can's lid. The sharp blade does the actual cutting, while the gear mechanism helps move the blade around the can. Then there's the washing machine, a marvel of modern engineering. Its drum, where the clothes are washed, is a key part of the mechanism. The electric motor, on the other hand, provides the power to rotate the drum. The pump then drains the water out once the wash cycle is complete. And let's not forget the clock, a classic example of a mechanism. The clock hands are moved by a series of interconnected gears, driven by a power source, which is usually a battery. The gears are carefully calibrated to ensure the hands move at the right speed, giving us the correct time. Each of these machines is a symphony of parts working together to perform a function. The parts of a mechanism can be as simple as a lever or gear, or as complex as an electric motor or pump. But no matter how simple or complex, each part has a crucial role to play. So next time you use a machine, spare a thought for its mechanism. Each gear, each lever, each motor is a testament to human ingenuity and the art of engineering. In essence, each part of a machine plays a vital role in its functioning. Ever noticed how a bicycle wheel spins or how an electric fan rotates? That's all about the transmission of motion. Now, let's delve into the fascinating world of motion transmission. It's all about how different mechanisms transmit various types of motion, including that mesmerizing rotary motion from one system to another. Picture a bicycle. 
It's a perfect example of motion transmission. You pedal, which in turn spins the gears. These gears are connected to a chain, which is linked to another set of gears attached to the bicycle's rear wheel. Your pedaling motion is converted into the rotary motion of the wheels, propelling the bike forward. Rather brilliant, don't you think? Now, let's move on to the electric fan, another fine example of motion transmission. When you switch on a fan, electrical energy is transformed into mechanical energy in the fan's motor. This motor contains a rotor, which spins, creating rotary motion. This motion is then transmitted to the fan blades, causing them to rotate and produce that refreshing breeze we all know and love. In both these examples, the key component is a mechanism that transforms one type of motion into another. This transmission of motion is a fundamental concept in the world of machines and mechanisms. But it's not just about bicycles and fans. Consider the world around you. From the spinning of a washing machine drum to the ticking hands of a clock, from the wheels of a car to the spinning blades of a blender, transmission of motion is everywhere. So, what's the takeaway? Well, it's all about understanding how machines work. Once you grasp the concept of motion transmission, you'll begin to see the mechanics behind everyday objects in a whole new light. And remember this isn't just dry academic information, it's a way of understanding and appreciating the world around us. It's about seeing the beauty in how things work, the elegance in their design, and the genius behind their invention. So the next time you see something moving, remember, it's all about transmission of motion. Now let's talk about transforming motion. It's not a magic trick, but it's equally fascinating. Imagine you're an artist with a paintbrush, and the canvas is the world around you. Transforming motion is just like that. It's the art of changing the way things move. And in the grand gallery of machines, this art form takes center stage. Let's start with the basics. You see, every machine is designed to perform a specific task. To achieve that, they often need to change the type of motion they receive into something more useful. This is where our friend the mechanism steps in. Picture a simple gear system. The input shaft turns in a circular motion, right? But what if we want to convert that into linear motion? Enter the rack and pinion. As the gear or pinion turns, it moves the rack in a straight line. So just like that, we've changed the geometric plane of the motion. But the magic doesn't stop there. What about changing the speed or direction of motion? Well, our trusty gear system is still on the job. By using gears of different sizes, we can adjust the speed of the output motion. A larger gear will slow things down, while a smaller one will speed things up. And if you want to change the direction of the motion, just add an intermediate gear into the mix. And let's not forget about pulleys and levers. These humble mechanisms can transform a small force into a large one, or vice versa. Think of a seesaw, one of our earliest encounters with machines. A small force applied at a longer distance can lift a heavier load at a shorter distance. That's transforming motion in action. So, you see, transforming motion is not just about moving from point A to point B. It's about how we get there, and in what manner. It's about the dance of gears, the push and pull of levers, and the interplay of forces. So, transforming motion is like the secret superpower of machines. Now let's not forget about the forces at play in these machines. They are the invisible heroes in our story. Imagine a world where objects don't move, where there's no action or reaction. Sounds pretty dull, right? Well, that's because forces, the unseen heroes, are missing from the scene. In our daily lives, machines apply forces to make our work easier. And today, we're going to see how these forces are modified in various machines. Take a simple lever, for instance. It's a basic machine that alters the input force we apply. If we push down on one end, the other end goes up, lifting a weight that might have been too heavy for us to lift otherwise. Here, the lever is changing the direction of our applied force. Now, consider a pulley system. If we pull down on one side of the rope, the load on the other side is lifted up. Not only does the pulley change the direction of the force, but it also magnifies it. By using a system of multiple pulleys, we can lift heavier loads with lesser effort. Then there's the inclined plane, or as we commonly know it, a ramp. It doesn't change the direction of the force, but it decreases the amount of force needed to lift an object. By increasing the distance over which the force is applied, an inclined plane makes the task easier. Last but not least, let's talk about gears. They're all about transmission and transformation of motion, but they also play a crucial role in changing the force. 
By using gears of different sizes, we can increase or decrease the force, speed and direction of motion. So, you see, each machine, in its own unique way, modifies the forces at play, making our lives a lot easier. And this is the crux of their magic. They take what we give them and transform it into something more useful, more efficient. Remember, without these forces, our machines would just be a bunch of lifeless parts. So there you have it. The fascinating world of machines and their mechanisms, decoded. We've embarked on a journey, exploring the intricacies of the devices we often take for granted. From your everyday appliances to the complex machinery that powers industries. We've peeled back the layers and revealed the mechanisms that make them tick. We've discovered the function and purpose of various mechanisms and how they play an integral role in our daily life. We've looked under the hood of these machines, identifying the critical parts and their respective roles. From gears to levers, each component has a unique purpose, contributing to the overall function of the machine. Remember our discussion on motion? We've seen how mechanisms transmit various types of motion, including the fascinating rotary motion. We've learned how one system can influence another, and how motion can be transferred from one part to another, creating a ripple effect of activity. We've also delved into the transformation of motion. We've examined how mechanisms can alter the geometric plane in which motion occurs, and how they can change the speed or direction of motion. It's like a well-choreographed dance, where each move is precise and purposeful. And let's not forget about the forces at play. We've explored how forces are changed in different machines, providing us with a deeper understanding of the principles that govern their operation. Throughout this journey, we've not only learned about machines and mechanisms, but we've also gained a newfound appreciation for the genius that goes behind their design and operation. It's a testament to human innovation and our relentless pursuit of efficiency and convenience. So the next time you use a machine, be it opening a can with a can opener, driving your car, or even using your smartphone, take a moment to appreciate the marvelous mechanisms at work. Remember, each click, turn or swipe is a symphony of mechanisms working together, making our lives easier, one motion at a time.